So today I'm joined by the lads from Past the Ball and we're going to recreate one of my favourite videos that I've seen one time on BBC and um, if you guys haven't noticed, there's pieces of paper in front of you. Oh, oh. Uh, I thought the people from the previous podcast left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on those papers, yeah. there is a list of 52 of the greatest Premier League players of all time. And what we're going to try and do today is try and create the all-time Premier League 11. We're going to keep it with the last 20, 25 years. So um, there's a list of goalkeepers, left backs, right backs, centre backs, midfielders, wingers and strikers. And we're going to discuss why certain players should and shouldn't go in. Um, some players are in there because of their achievements. Some are in there because of, lo because of longe longevity and things that they've done in the Premier League. So without much further ado, and oh, by the way, if I've left some players off the list that you might think might be on the list, then um, we can we can get it done. Um, you guys will be able to keep up because in the edits I'm going to be putting the players in and the lists and whatnot. So um, without much further ado, by the way, I've got my own team that we're going to compare it to at the end and see how far we get. Cool. So this is going to be mostly you guys discussing. I'm just going to be putting in a few things here and there. So the, um, the goalkeepers, we've got... Uh, We've got a list of, I think, seven. Um, we've got Petr Cech, Edwin van der Sar, Jens Lehmann, Shea Given, Brad Friedel, David, David De Gea, Peter Schmeichel, and David Seaman. You guys thinking? Mm. I'm thinking, how does Brad Friedel get in there? <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> no, Brad, Brad Friedel, bro, he, he played until he was about 42. Yeah, he and he played at a pretty, pretty, played at pretty high level as well. Longevity. He played, played for some really top teams, some decent teams. It went like yeah, three hundred Premier League games without missing a game. Yeah, he he he, he has a couple. Yeah, the is important. Isn't it? Yeah, you know, he has a couple decent records, like um, most consecutive starts and yeah. like a lot, like clean sheets, just based on how long he played. So yeah, yeah. He's got yeah, a lot yeah of he was a good goalkeeper, so I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think you have to split it from you know what we know about keepers and what I've seen in my lifetime. Yeah. So on, you know, what I've seen in my lifetime. It'd be between Van der Sar and Czech, but obviously we hear mm. that Peter Schmeichel was pretty good. Yeah, mm. yeah I mean, um, so the video I saw was basically the BBC cast. Was it the Gary Lineker? Gary Lineker, yeah. Alan Shearer, Ian Wright and um, Danny Murphy, mm. and they did it. So with them, they had a lot more older players like Eric, Eric Cantona and stuff yeah. like that. But we don't, we don't, we can't really judge those. Yeah. The oldest players on on this list would be like Alan Shearer and like Peter Schmeichel, which were kind of you even know, then, uh, yeah. yeah. And even then, they're a bit, they're a bit older. So, I got, what, what uh, are we thinking? I got to stick up for Jens Lehmann, man, because character is so important as a, as a goalkeeper. Yeah. In any position, it's important. But I see him like having madnesses with Drogba. Like you, you remember that when he just, I don't know, he didn't punch him, but he kind of bars Drogba, Drogba, yeah. Drogba yeah. dropped on the floor, yeah. got yeah. up, but. Fair enough, but is he as talented as some of the guys that we're seeing, like David De Gea and, and, character. and what's he called, and Edwin Van der Sar and Petr Cech? Like, is he on that caliber of, of goalkeeper? Technically, because yeah. don't, don't get he it was twisted. a good goalkeeper. He, he was a very, yeah. very good goalkeeper. Yeah. He, was, he was an extremely good goalkeeper. Yeah. Mm. But like, was he ever in the, in in discussion with the Cassiasses and the Buffons of the yeah, world? Yeah, we never, we didn't see. You didn't see, enough, but, yeah. but 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 Van der Sar and um, Petr Cech were were, const, were consistently <clears> in that discussion yeah. of. Is this the best goalkeeper in the world? Is that the best goalkeeper in the world? Mm. So I think based on that, I don't think that kind of, um, I think that kind of maybe yeah, takes him out of the list. So mm. do we have a final two maybe? I think with like, especially David De Gea as well, because the like the position of a keeper has changed, a lot of these guys, they're shot stoppers. But with David De Gea, obviously you can play with his feet and things like that. So when we're talking about like the generation, yeah. It's a bit of like a difficult one. He's a modern day like, keeper, right? Exactly. He's, he's, he's a modern day, day keeper, keeper yeah. but um, what we I can... think he deserves to be on the list. Yeah, he, no, absolutely, he's a absolutely. League winner and but was the best. Keeper do you know how David De Gea is kind of? He, he's not at the level that he used to be no, a couple yeah. of years ago. But you see, with some of these keepers, they got better as they got older. Edwin yeah. van der Sar was winning Champions League at the age of at the age of forty for Man United. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. David De Gea since the World Cup hasn't been at that level. He definitely deserves to be on the list. Yeah, he's definitely sure, one of the best Premier League keepers in in our generation. Yeah, but um. I don't think he would be the like you. You put him at the top, you know. Yeah, no, for sure, I agree with you. Be fair. The reason, the reason why, like, if they, I think if we're talking about final two. I'd say we'd say Petr Cech and Van der Sar. I was just about to say that. If we're gonna, <laughs> if we're gonna whittle it down yeah. to two. They're all big things, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, and but you know, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of United players in this eleven. To be fair, to be fair, it is. I, I was, I was thinking it's gonna be a lot of United and Chelsea players. 
in this in this team. Yeah. Simply because. <laughs> su- sim- <laughs> sim- there'll sim- be Arsenal. No, no, no. There'll be one Arsenal player definitely. Mm. And and they'll maybe, probably be more, maybe more. Than no, no, no. And, and there'll be there'll, there'll be one that you can claim if you want. You're being harsh, but he's being harsh. Man. That's not fair. That's yeah, not fair. Um, so, so, so um, we, we've been on the keepers for for for, for yeah. a little long now. Who yeah. we, um, I'll go with Van der Sar. I'll go with Petr Cech. I'm gonna go with Petr Cech. I've been overruled then. So yeah, we'll go Petr Cech. Let's put it down. Put him in. Yes, sir. Like... Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. <laughs> Lovely hand, right? Check and go. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave um, centre backs till the end. Ooh, um, interesting. Not not till the end, but is in till the end of the defenders. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do left back first. I mean, there's not that much variety in left back. Um, I was actually tempted to do Ashley Cole twice. Um, his Chelsea career and his Arsenal career and see which one's better. That's how limited Ooh, we yeah. were. No, that yeah. Yeah. That's how limited we were. So um, I think this one's pretty straight. I think it's the only it's one that will be un- it will be unanimous, yeah. Yeah, in I think my this, opinion. I think, I think this one's the easiest one. But I want to big up. Patrice Evra. No, no, no. He, oh, uh, yo, Patrick's Evra. Patrice, Patrice Evra is an elite left back. For sure. He's an elite left back. He started back. really poorly mm-hmm. when he came into Man United and then proved himself to be one of the best left backs. In the Ashley Cole was the best left back in the world at Arsenal. Or in, in the Premier League at Arsenal. Yeah. And he came to Chelsea and just got even better. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's not that. Without a doubt. Um, I'm not going to get up every time, so I'm just going to just gonna write out the defender that one. <laughs> 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 I, I realised when I was getting back down and putting my headphones in there. It was, it was, it was like, a bit of a chill. Um, <laughs> so, right backs. Uh, we've got Gary Neville, Branislav Ivanovic, Zabaleta, and Azpilic Quetta. We don't have much variety there either. So, I, I mean, have I missed anyone out, by the way? I was thinking maybe Bakary Sanya. Zabaleta played for United. Yeah, he was good, actually. Sanya was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bakary Sanya. I was, I was thinking... No, um, if, I was, if, if, like, Zabaleta and Ivanovic, why can't he be in there as well? I'm, I'm, no, no, there, there, was, there was... I think there's, there's, like, a level or two between Sanya and... I think he should, he's allowed I mean, to be on no, the no, list. No, no, he should be on the list. Fair, fair enough. I mean, that's why I think he, he should have been, he could have been on the list. But I'm saying, um, I mean... Brad Friedel got a shout. Come on. Yeah. Zachary <laughs> Sanya, man. Give him a chance. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'll I mean, be honest with you, I think right back is probably, in the 11, the hardest decision to make. Because I feel like the quality is not great. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, not great. Say, so so can, I, can I make an argument for my guy? Go on. Um... I personally would put Zabaleta Ooh. because um, out of all of these right backs, yeah. first of all, all of them can defend at a pretty high level, right? Yeah, he's the only one that stands out going forward. Yeah, statistically, you mean? Statistic, even 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 aesthetically, On the eye as well. yeah. Mm. Like Zabaleta was always. I mean, Zabaleta was a, was a modern modern day right back before, yeah. like when. When guys like Ivanovic were, I mean, Ivanovic was decent going forward as well. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Yeah, but, Z- well. yeah, yeah, no. But Zabaleta, Zabaleta, like creating chance, bro. He, did he not score um, when Man City lifted their first Premier League before the Aguero goal? Zabaleta in that same in, game. Yeah, Zabaleta put them in the lead that game. Yeah. So he scored some big goals as well. I mean, I don't know if you guys are gonna. I'd have to, I'd have to seriously make a case for Gary Neville, and there's a reason why. Listen, this guy might not have been an incredible footballer. But it can't be Easy. discounted being in a Premier League winning team mm. consistently since coming from the academy. Yeah. That class of 92, he's part of that. He's part of winning most of the leagues that Manchester United have been involved in. He became club captain towards the end of, the end of his career. He was a leader, not just by example, but also was vocal on the pitch as well towards the end of his career. Mm. I think, you know, he's got two Champions League medals to his name. I'm talking about accolades, because we can't really separate most of them based on the technique and ability. I think accolades, to being the best. But is it, wouldn't that be the same? Being a right back, is definitely gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, no, but wouldn't that be the same similar argument for goalkeeper? For, for goalkeeper, when he said Jens Lehmann, because yeah. Jens Lehmann, the reason that we kind of discounted him is because his, what his not was he Jens? Le- were we talking about Seaman or Lehmann? Lehmann, by the way. Le- we were Le- talking Le- about Le- Lehmann. Le- yeah, Le- yeah, Le- my fault. Um, he would 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 we ever say Gary Neville is that level of like that level of right back, like that elite level of right back? I mean, I, I wouldn't say any of these are elite. I mean, were any of these the best right back in the world at any point in time? No, they, they never Ooh, were. As for the Quetta. As for the Quetta. There was one or two yeah, seasons where he was unbeatable. He was he was he and he beat him one 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for the Quetta has won the Premier League playing all three positions at Chelsea. He was centre back with Conte. He was um, right back with uh, he he. I mean, he, he's a right back anyway. Yeah, so, and and, and, yeah, and Mourinho, yeah. Mourinho, that Mourinho season when Mourinho came back in fourteen fifteen, yeah. he was playing the left back. So he's so I mean. I mean, that yeah, deserves a shout as well. Zabaleta's been, I think, in the last about 10 years, yeah. from about 2010 yeah. to now. 
I think on longevity and achievements, I, I don't look any further than Gary Neville. Because the reason why it's different to the keepers is that there was a difference in class, as you mentioned earlier, about layman and the rest of them. So, and technique and shot stopping and all these kind of things that are technical. These guys, I'm not really losing anything by playing each of them. If, I, if I'm manager and I'm playing all of them, I'm not really losing you're, much. Going with Gary Neville, you're, lo- like, you're losing a lot going forward. You're not really. Um, he wasn't, no, no, no. He wasn't he was shocking. Losing. He wasn't, he wasn't no, like, but, he no, wasn't but Zabaleta, was, Zabaleta was very, very good going forward, though. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Very, very. No, he was extreme. I mean, at the he time, was... he was probably the best right back in the world, going, not in the world, in, in the Premier League going forward. Mm. Are we judging them? I think ability should always edge it for us. Yeah. Like, more than accuracy. Even, even ability, I don't think. Who's the Gary best defender on that list? That's for the question. Ivanovic for me. Ivanovic, Ivanovic for me. Ivanovic. I'd say Aspilicueta as well. That would be... That, I'd I mean, say Aspil- pure defending. Aspilicueta was, 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 was one of my favourite Chelsea players of all time. In his prime. I, well, I, I can't lie, there's a good argument. Bro, Ivanovic was a wall, bro. Bro, I'm telling you. Hard to say. It was a wall, bro. I swear. But Aspilicueta wasn't as physically imposing, but technically as attacker. He'd win the Positioning, like positionally, he was unbelievable. So who are we going for? I'm going Gary Neville. That's what I'm going for. I feel like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Um, They're all it's pretty much the same. I'm, I'm going to go with Zabaleta. I'm going to go with Zabaleta. I think based on pure ability, I think I'm going to go with Zabaleta as well. Yeah, because so, don't put, Zabaleta was a midfielder when he came to Man City. Uh, he was converted, uh, he converted into a right back. But I'd so say Aspie has like the best football brain in terms of like intelligence, having put in, yeah. playing across the front, the back line. Mm. So, so our left back Ashley Cole, right back Zabaleta. Now, now, now it gets a bit interesting. Now, now we're gonna have a real discussion. You go centre backs: um, Sol Campbell, Rio Ferdinand, John Terry, mm. Nemanja Matic, mm. Vin- Nemanja Vidic, mm. Nemanja Vidic, <laughs> <laughs> Nemanja Matic, <laughs> Ayo, um, Vinny Company, yeah. Virgil Van Dijk, mm. Ricardo Carvalho. Have I missed anyone out? Firstly, anyone else? No. Have I missed anyone out? Anyone that comes to mind? Yeah. AB's burning to say don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Torrey wasn't bad either, man. Torrey wasn't bad. Yeah, Torrey yeah, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't bad. Yeah, but, Bro, he, he, but he's not he's not on the level with these guys. Yeah. Uh, Alson Wenger said we bought this guy for change. It wasn't even 10k, that's what he's saying, bro. He said he got it out of his own pocket and said, oh, it's, it's Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fair enough. Turned him into an invincible or something. Um, Listen, I'm going to keep going back to this. Brad Friedel got a shot in the first one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Tory. Listen, that was a shout. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, listen. Brad Friedel had all, over 500 Premier League games. Bro. No, no, no. But, like, I, I don't. I mean, there's got to be about 300, 300. We can, we can, we can. He didn't even play for any good team. We can, we can search that right Blackburn. now. Was at Blackburn. Oh, no, Blackburn. that's, that's Blackburn. the best team he's played. In that list there, that's the best team he's played for. Mm. Blackburn Rovers. Wait, Brad Friedel actually played for Liverpool. Yeah. Or like at the start or something or at the end? Somewhere in the game. <laughs> he said he said yeah. during his 500 games. I, I can't <laughs> remember. Somewhere some in the nah, he's definitely on 300. 300 yeah. 450 appearances. Really? 132 clean sheets. Hmm. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm going back to Gorky, but I don't know why you're referencing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 You're referencing Gorky <laughs> again. I think for me, um, uh, we can have a bit of a discussion about this, but for me, my, my centre backs are decided. Yeah, I know, I know. Vidic and Ferdinand. Nah. Mm. Terry and Ferdinand. You know what? I swear I love this guy because I was Terry going to say Ferdinand. the exact same thing. Mm. That that's, is that's my, my centre-back. Too. That's, my, that's, that's my centre-back. That's the best two centre-backs in Premier League history. I love Nemanja Vidic. Mm. But he has certain weaknesses in his game. Mm. And I think one, that John one, Terry's one underrated those... on the ball, first yeah. of all. John Terry can pass the ball pretty mm. well. Mm. And he, you know how he was defensively. This guy would throw everything in front of the man. And he's a class defender all round. And, and, well, yeah. and, and, and he scored leaders. more goals than certain man. Bro, that's just what. And his goal scoring as well is underrated. Every time we went up for a corner, JT. Like, JT. We're talking about JT. Yeah, JT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's famous. something that we've that's, lost. That's, that's, as my, as that's my centre back pairing as well, to be fair. I mean, because. Any other. I speeds? know. I know. Yeah, you're man. trying to figure out. What, okay, what, what about, what about Saul Campbell? Bro, Saul Campbell, yeah. I think our age group, Yeah. our memory probably starts from. Oh five. Yeah. No, oh, but six. no, but you're, you're forgetting they they were all in the English team and Sol Campbell never got a shot in that. It was always it yeah, was but always that's Terry and Ferdinand. That's always. because they were more they were more they were better. The like after was after better. 05, 06, we didn't really see the best of Campbell. Campbell yeah. was like between O two to O six. We missed it. That yeah. was when he was a monster, like you know what I mean. Yeah. So no, I agree with you guys. Um, Ferdinand was such a. What about Vincent Company? I think Vincent Company deserves a shout. Like I mean, to be put in the argument. Yeah. You know. 
Because yeah. like on the ball, Vinny Company was ridiculous. Yeah. I think the one of the things you need from a centre back and a leader is availability, and he was too injured. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very That's good point. Listen, I know obviously Van Dijk has only done it for a season or two, but we haven't seen something like this. Someone like him in the last ten years that makes the game look so easy. You'll see it now with Liverpool with how how yeah. bad they are. Yeah. You know? He makes I, it bro it's, like you never see just, like his just, hair messed up. You never no see sweating, like yeah, nothing. nothing. Just Mr. Cool customer like yeah, but no, Van, Van Dijk deserves a shot. Perfect hair. But, but Van Dijk, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it was only a season and a half, though. Yeah. Only a season. Exactly, like, all of these guys, like Terry, mm. Fidic, um, uh, Ferdinand, yeah. Yeah. even Carvalho to an extent, well, did it for at least five or six years yeah. at the very, very high level. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Bro, yeah. John Terry conceded 11 goals in a whole season in 2004 back. Credit to the whole back line. And yeah, no, of course, of course. He's the leader. Of course, of course. Obviously, for the, you know, i got to do it for the... For the viewers, you know, it was it was actually fifteen. Fair enough. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So, so we've got our back four then. Um, yes. Yeah, let's get out there. Fair enough. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. I can't believe he's having a ticket to him. That was so very close to being four Chelsea defenders in the back four. And wait, which goal? Uh, and that would have been a back five all Chelsea, you know. Man, no, no, no. I don't think Ivana should go in. But I'm I'm a little bit annoyed that Gary Neville didn't get in. So. Mm, fair enough. Yeah, we're not blessed with the right back position. Yeah, right yeah back really not. Yeah. But, but like, I guess that's why they say Trent all of a sudden they said he was the best of all time. Okay, but yeah. you, Yo, take, Lauren, actually, Lauren, you take Lauren was so good, you know that. My cousin, took you off, know? They took pens off Henri, bro. Yo, my cousin helped pens me. Pens off Henri. Henri, bro. Is it Henri? Can't is it? On, Lauren was a right back, wasn't he? Yeah. My, my cousin who helped me make this list, yeah. he suggested Lauren, by the way. Yeah. I, I completely forgot about it. Yeah. You suggested Lauren. Sorry, mate, you're not in the list. I mean, he's, he's, yeah. still, he's still in the gut in. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Lauren, but yeah, yeah. Craziest course. part, Brad Friedel gets in the list, but Lauren doesn't. <laughs> Can, Lauren. You Brad Fr- Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Listen, we're not going to keep going. Don't want to hear it. Every don't position, hear it. every position. <laughs> gonna... Any person who makes this list is being compared to Brad Friedel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we go to wide midfielders. I feel like I may have forgotten some. Mm. Have a look at the list. Wide midfielders. Ronaldo. Mm. Mo Salah. <laughs> Raheem Sterling in brackets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, no, 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 no. No, there's a reason for that. There's a reason oh, yeah, for that. Funny. There's a reason for that. And bro. I'll get to that when I get to him. Tell me it's a typo, bro. <laughs> 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 bro, we're just trying to play my right mic because that guy right, can't get Cristiano Ronaldo, Mo Salah, David Beckham, Eden Hazard, Sadio Mane, Ryan Giggs, Gareth Bale, and Robert Perez. Now we get to Raheem Sterling, and the reason I say Raheem Sterling is I wanted to ask you guys, does he deserve a spot on the list or not? Of course he doesn't. If Salah is on there, he support. He can, he can be. In. No, he's allowed to be on there. Salah, he can, has, 100%. Salah has had four seasons in a row of scoring twenty plus Premier League goals. Um, Raheem Sterling hasn't. I've also got. Stats. Raheem Sterling can't be on that list. No, no, no. Raheem Salah is uh, twenty eight, twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Sterling is twenty four, twenty five. Mm-hmm. No, but then we're going to talk about what he can be. We have to talk no, about no, what's no, happening. Uh, Raheem, Raheem Sterling scored twenty, seventeen, and eighteen goals in the last three seasons. He's on course for twenty goals again this season. Mm. Right, oh, he gets not twenty like, four seasons. He, he, no. fa- fa- it's fa- great. It's great stats. Okay, no, okay, yeah, but I'm, I'm not comparing him. I'm not comparing him to Mo Salah. Yeah. Mo Salah definitely deserves. How many win? How many leagues has he got? Sterling. He's got two. Two. Yeah, he's got two. Two. He and might. He might have one under. This is another under, one. What's his name? Yeah. What's uh, Pellegrini? Pellegrini. He might. I'm not. Don't quote me. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. But the reason that my cousin suggested Sterling is because if Gareth Bale can be in there, then Raheem Sterling should be because Gareth Bale only. Gareth Bale only had one elite season. But he was... He, the like, ability was there to ridiculous. see, though. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, he was one of the best players in the world when yeah. he had that season. Yeah. But Raheem's got ability as well, though. I feel like we're kind oh, of like... Because if you, if you compare Raheem's last three seasons to Cristiano Ronaldo's last three seasons, mm. apart from that one ridiculous season where Ronaldo had 31 league goals, yeah. the other two were 17 and 18, which yeah. is very similar to Raheem Sterling's numbers. Obviously, And that's Ronaldo. Yeah. And he's only 10 goals shorter. But Does Ronaldo sense? did have that. And that's why he got the Ballon d'Or, and that's not, why not, he went on to bigger places. Of course, of, of course. But I'm saying Raheem Sterling shouldn't get into this list. Not for me. Okay, fair enough. That's that's not conversation. That's conversation. Obviously, he's not going to get into the team. So now let's get into who on this list should get into the team. First and foremost, what formation are we playing? That's the first thing I should have asked you guys. Four, four, uh, uh, what I would three, say is five, we decide the formation at the end based that's on that, who. No, we got. that wouldn't make that because wouldn't make sense. the formation. The formation would just make it rigid. If that makes sense, do you know what I mean? 
No, okay, but how many wingers are you gonna pick? Do you know what I mean? If we say four four two, if we say four four two, then we have to pick two central defenders, two wingers. No, we're okay. We're moving like Gareth Gareth Southgate. We're definitely gonna do four at the back. It just depends. Are we gonna do four four two or four three three? The reason I'm leaning towards four four two is because that's just the the basic English Premier League formation. But at the same time, we've got so I many. Think there's too many good central midfielders. But because I was just about to say, because we've got so many elite midfielders, yeah, four three three. Then you're gonna, gonna be making me play. You're gonna make me play Frank Lampard in the front too. Can we do a three five two, bro, or a three four three? No, we can't. Too late. We've got back four. We've got back four. We've got back four. We've got back four. I say four three three. Four three. Four three three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let me just what one point on Sterling. I feel like I've got to defend him. Remember, Salah is on pens. That's true. Salah is on pens. Yeah. And Salah plays this a season. lot more central, and he has been playing a lot more central then Sterling starts. than Sterling. Yeah. That's you know a very, I mean? Sometimes Sterling, I think Sterling tells him to I, I chill think on Sterling the Sterling should yeah. be on the list at least for consideration. 100%. Huh? I agree. 100%. Totally agree. I think, uh, fair, fair enough then. Just, so, just, so, so it's on you. Just my Sterling again. It's on you. Fair <laughs> enough. So, um, <laughs> wingers, who we, uh, since we're doing 4 3 3, yeah. who are we going with? Bro, I don't want to I, I don't want to jump the gun. I was just about to say Hazard, but I realised this is an all-time Premier League team. That's harsh. But if we're going 4 3 looking at the names harsh. of the list, Hazard is in there. If you see what? Hazard's, out, what's it called, stats and, and output. No, nah, there was one in the season that he had no. There was two great seasons that yeah. he had that yeah. you can say of all uh, the time that guys, he was at Chelsea. I don't, I don't think, Bro, his, I don't think four, three, four, three, 4 3 3 will work. Why? Unless we put strikers. Uh, yeah, unless we put the wide midfielders and the forwards together and we do central midfielders first and then we pick three forwards. Let's do three central midfielders first. Okay, let's do the three central midfielders first and then we'll go to the strikers let's and get back to these wide yeah. yeah. Right. So the midfielders, this is a very interesting and, and like a very, very interesting list. Mm. My 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 three would be very, very unconventional. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might not agree with me. Mm -hmm. But let's go through the names on the list first. We've got Steven Gerrard, Roy Keane, Frank Lampard. N'Golo Kante, Yaya Torre, Javier Alonso, Cesc Fabregas, David Silva, Paul Scholes, Patrick Vieira, and Michael Carrick. I'll be Carrick on the list. Mm. He was always going to. He was always going to. Um, can I start with a radical statement? Go on, brother. Steven Gerrard is not in my team. Wow. Steven Why, Gerrard so? would not be in my team because to be he never Prem won the Premier League. That's a good point. And so if you don't win the Premier League, I'm going to struggle to put you into the Premier League. You're looking at it. You're looking at the yeah, list. Every it. single one of them, I've, man. I've won it multiple times. All of them have won it. <laughs> multiple times. All of them have won it. Don't multiple look over there times. to try and find a, a gap in my argument. Yeah? yeah. Steven Gerrard is not getting in my list because he didn't win the league. An impeccable player, incredible player, exceptional player. I can talk about him all day. Yeah. But he didn't win it. Sorry, mate. That's fair can, I, can I give you my free rule? 17 years. Well, how long, I mean, how long was he a Liverpool player? 17 years, I think. Didn't win the league once. You probably won't agree with it, and it's probably a bit mad, but yeah. on, a, on a balance side of things, mm -hmm. it it might work. Mm -hmm. So I've got Kante, mm -hmm. who I think is the best holding midfielder ever in the Premier League, and, and we've, we've had Makalele and, and Vieira, and I still yeah. think Kante is just better. Yeah. Um, Yaya Torre, because I think at their peak, I don't think anyone on this list is a better football player than Yaya Torre. If we're talking peaks, then peaks can be said about a lot of players. You know what I'm saying? If we said peak, uh, then Asper Lequeta would have been in VVD. it. Yeah, but, but, but okay, no, okay but I'm, I'm just saying over over parameter. the over the course of his um, uh, what's Premier, it League, Premier League career, yeah. those three years, no one was better than Yaya Torre in the Premier League. It was so good to watch. He was so unbelievably good, and he could do absolutely everything, everything mm. that yeah. these guys can do and more. Yeah. He could shoot like Lampard and Gerrard. He could pass like Paul Scholes and Javi Alonso. He could dribble like some of these wingers. You know what I'm trying to say? So oh, Yaya Torre okay. can do everything. Mm. And the third in one in isolation, though. Yeah, like, we have to make that. Fair, and and the third one would probably be. Probably be Frank Lampard because of his goal scoring. Yeah, he has to be in there. So uh, that's that's my list. I feel like you don't have Frank Lampard. You guys, you guys discuss. Oh. I don't know. I just feel like you wouldn't put Frank Lampard in. Mm. No. When I, first I might not even put Frank Lampard in. By the way. Yeah. Huh? That I might not even put Frank Lampard in. That was a lot. You that just was said a, you had. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, but even even that was a debatable one for me. Bro. It was it was him or Cesc Fabregas for me. Just fair enough. You know, let me just give you the what, what I'm thinking Talk when I'm me, looking bro. at this list. Talk to me, bro. Yes, sir. Go for it. I want to choose the ballers. Above anything else, God. The ones who I don't care if they have won, them. they haven't. This is that. There you go, <laughs> bro. Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes has to be, has has to be in there, bro. The football brain this guy had, just clear to see, bro. You know what I mean? When you got Chavi, Pep coming out saying, saying this guy, we need him. to stop this guy. Crazy. I was like. 
Bro, I did not understand football it. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I bro, said, so, why are those schools? Why not Ronaldo? Really like, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all say this is the master. Like, he's the he's master. He's the cog in that whole machine. Paul Scholes is in there Has to be. Has to be. Sesk. I feel like nah, 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 nah. Sess don't get in. Nah, he doesn't, he doesn't get in. That's Vieira gets in. That's because you mm. left your team, mate. Yeah. Vieira. Vieira, get, Vieira gets oh. in. Vieira's in mine as well. You yeah. can't have because you I, I feel like I told them Vieira's what kind of team. I feel like Vieira had legs. Why wouldn't you have Vieira and Scholes? Vieira had legs. That's, that's a that's good combo. One guy is. You know, we just had Scores and Keane, but we can't have Scores and Vieira. Yeah, we didn't have Scores and Keane. Yeah. No, scores and Keane is who played together. Yeah. Yeah. One hard man and one and one mastermind. Yeah. Exactly what they're doing here is yeah, recreating yeah, yeah. that. Uh, that's that's interesting. Scores yeah. and Keane work together. Why can't scores and Vieira work together? Yeah, and this Even is... if Vieira was better than Keane yeah. in terms of a footballer. You know what? He technically, he could do more. He scored more goals. He was played. He played the ball better. Yeah. Vieira is, I think, an upgrade on on Rory Keane. Yeah. So for me, Vieira, Paul scores. Yeah. And who else? And it's a tussle between Gerard Lampard and Torre, but based on ability, I'm going for Torre, man. Fair enough. Uh, so Lampard and Gerard don't get to your team? Nope. Fair enough. That's cr- I knew yeah. Lampard would get to I told that's you. Fair, I saw my sense. You won't put Lampard in. Yeah. That's fair enough. Go on, Zach. What are you thinking? Talk us through it, brother. For me, yep. my holding has to be Vieira for me. Yep. And he edges it. It was very close between him and Kante. Okay. But for me, Vieira, first of all, leadership for me. Absolute yep. animal on the pitch. Mm. I mean, Kante has that as well. But for me, absolute animal. And his goal scoring ability. Vieira scored big goals for Arsenal yeah. and so it's kind of like that's kind of what Kante kind of like lacks in his game fair enough uh, for my two eights Lampard straight away has to be in there for his goal scoring ability and my other eight for me will have to be David Silva oh I like it David Silva talk to us about David Silva first of all just aesthetically watching him yeah. the way he moves the ball Wizard. his movement his vision and just it's, his consistency it's crazy that you have all these midfielders like number eights and yeah. you got this just one number 10 there are there any other number 10s that you could think of that maybe should be in this list from the premier league yeah Ozil. in terms of ability okay yeah. but Ozil haven't done anything in the premier, premier league great no yeah, way I think, I think if you're talking about number 10 didn't, in the equal, premier league, didn't he equal the all-time assist assist to record, yeah, record. you just asked what number 10s that's been sitting in the premier league since 2003 that just disqualifies your argument then for yeah. someone who's never won the premier league no, i used to ask that who's in the argument not how who i'd put in my team oh, fair, fair. you won't ever get into my team <laughs> but who do you said he's a number 10 so yeah he has to be in there fair say. what about matter yeah fun 2020 season at Ch- uh, in uh Chelsea, Chelsea the 20 goals, 20 assists season. Oh, so, what, what midfield are you three? Are you, are you. So, you've done your wonderful Silva, gentleman. Vieira, yeah, Silva, and, Vieira and Lamps. So, Skulls is in your team. The, the machine that made Manchester United win how many titles isn't in your team? It's, it's a, for me, it's, it's one of the others. Either I put Vieira in there or I put Skulls. You know why? Depends where we are. Because I'm trying to have like a balanced midfield. So, so, one thing we're I, definitely sure of is Vieira 100%. Oh, he's um, in thing, isn't he? Yeah, Vieira's, Vieras in, Vieras in all of your teams. Yeah, he's not in yours. He wasn't in mine, yeah, he wasn't in mine. You um, got Kante. I've right? on Kante, Yaya Torre and Lampard. Fair enough. For me, mine is... I think Paul Scholes. But my, I'm not in the voting, it's between so you. I do, so, 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 go on, tell me mine. Tell me mine. Paul <laughs> <Four scores. laughs> Easy. Vieira. 100%. And Carrick. No, Roy Keane. Now I'm playing. Who's your third midfielder? Lampard, yeah. I can't get more goals than certain strikers and not be in my team. I need goals from that midfield. I've got two guys. One is going to break up the play. One is dictating the play. Well, go get me goals, brother. Be a second striker. I, I think that, that's, that's probably the most reasonable midfield Premier League three. Yeah. Lampard, Skulls, and Vieira. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's a very good bit for yeah, um, I'm just, I'm Lampard just, gets into both of our teams, so he's in, right? Yeah, Lampard's in because he got two votes. Yeah. Vieira's in because Vieira's he's three, got three, three votes. And Skull's got two votes. Yeah! yeah. I mean, that's a very good midfield. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's... that's, yeah. that's, that's, you, that's you can't be mad at any of these. You can't be so yeah. many guys. Ima- imagine. Hey, yo, listen, as long as Roy Keane's not in there, I'm good. Don't do that. Why? No, no, why? I agree with that. No, no, Hashtag merchant. Yeah. Yeah. What? Like, what? No, 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 I can't see him running at players. So now, them on commit, like, do you know what I mean? The way that yeah, I turned it. The exciting yeah. bit. The front three. Oh, this is, oh. Including wingers as well, by the way. Can we listen? Let's just cut to the chase. Thierry Henry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Is that what you're on? Is that what you're on? Like that. And do you know how you said that? Yeah. Wayne Rooney, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, don't hesitate. I'll kick you. We're don't do that. Team, don't hesitate. We're doing team, one second, one second. Let's just first of all, I've wanted to say. Mm. I think the I think, I the, think front on the, is so, on the I think the front three is just the easiest one in my opinion. Mm, the easiest know. one. I, I think there's a gap. And, 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 and if I tell you, and if I tell you my and if I tell you my front three, you also you will believe it. Okay, one second. Rooney, Before Ronaldo, Rooney, Ronaldo, and Henri. Without a doubt. Yeah, that's trying to build some suspense. But I'd say I think that Vardy and Mares on that Leicester season deserve a shout, and I didn't see both of their names in there. I'll be honest with you, Vardy. How many years have you been playing? Why are you about to laugh? What's going on? Yeah. What's bro, going on, bro? Yeah, okay, yeah, bro? I'm not putting them in my look, team. Look at but, me. Look, 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 you know, he deserves a shout. Look, look at me. Look, look at the names on this list. And how dare you say Vardy and Mares? What? Look at the names on the list, what are you saying, bro? Mm. bro they had the we, greatest we Premier League win of all time. We didn't see Andy Cole obviously play. Yeah, yeah like I He did. retired when we probably he started watching football. But how's this guy 185 saying? Premier League goals. Yeah. Not enough people talk about him, you know that. Where's Ian Wright? I will I like, I, they were on my initial list, you know. Yeah. But Part I of told, his was in the I was, I was, told, I was told to take, take them out, take them out yeah. when, I, when I confirmed them. I'd say this, though. That's, that's too... Lukaku equals Ian Wright. Bro, bro, all, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is... That's a good shout, by the way. Yeah. Brad Friedel got on this list and Vardy didn't. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, <laughs> fair, fair. No, but, 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 but... Anyway, they're not in my team. I just wanted to give them a shout out. Shout out to Leicester Brothers who went and did that incredible stuff, yeah? Because Kante gets in there basically on his Leicester stuff as well as his Chelsea stuff. So, let's give him a shout out. But for me, I think you can't look past the, the, the three names that Simon mentioned. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or mm-hmm. in the Premier League. Only other player other than Michael, Michael Owen to do it in the Premier League. Mm. What Should Michael Owen be in the list? Oh, stop it. Um, so, um, you just said Michael <laughs> Owen. He did. He did. He did. did he win the league? He well, with United, he might have done. He might have been in our squad when we won it. Mm. No, I think he did win, actually. Okay. Did he play for Liverpool and United? Oh, let me not even move on from that guy. Thierry Henry is... The best player to play mm. in the Premier League. Mm. Thank okay. you, man. Thank Over you. the duration of time, yeah. I think Rooney played for a longer amount of time, mm. and obviously had his 15 years. But his numbers, is, the, no, the numbers don't correlate with the appearances. Yeah. Rooney, R- yeah, no, on that's, that's, was that's in... perfectly. Un- that, do you know what? Do you know what? It's so unfair. Mm. Go on. Rooney on any given Saturday, you can say to him, "Bro, Carrick's not playing today. You're playing six mm. and he'll do it with unbelievable. Ability. ability. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And this Rooney, issue- Rooney, Rooney, for Rooney, after about 160 games, for the for the for the next however many games he played, he didn't play as a as a as a as a striker. You're forgetting this guy was facilitated for Tevez and Ronaldo. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And he was he was creative for them, and he allowed them to shine. Yeah. And he was still getting his 15, 20 goals a season. Yeah. Like if Rooney had played his entire career as a number nine, he would have blown Alan Shearer's record and out the wall. If water. my grandmother had a wheel, she would have been a bike. We're just talking about hypotheticals, bro. No, but, but that's the problem with being a versatile player, is that it, because Rooney and he talks about this in his career, he, did, yeah. he said, "When I'm looking back at my career, I wasn't selfish enough. I was too selfless. I accepted what the manager said, and I just played on the right wing sometimes." But on his talent, that's why he becomes for me. He can't. He has to be yeah. in my Premier League all-time eleven. But he can't be the best player in the Premier League because he didn't. Be selfish. Oh, no, I'm not saying he's the best. I'm, I'm saying, not saying he's the best. Yeah. I'm saying he's top three with those three. No, for me he is as well. Yeah, he's yeah. top yeah. three with those three. We're not disagreeing here. But for me, Thierry Henry is the best player in the Premier League. In history, I put him in there. Yeah. Go on, what, ahead of Ronaldo? No, 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 go on, brother. Because I'm saying what you want to say. Uh, no, 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 no. What, ahead of Ronaldo? Um, Henry, yeah, because Ronaldo was here for... He had three incredible seasons mm. and left. Henry was playing uh, incredible Eight levels. seasons he was here. And... and was the best player. But, I mean, that, that front three goes about. Yeah. Go on, yeah, I no, I was just going to say I need to make an omission. Someone take someone out of this list. Chuck Yaya Torre out of there, man. Oh! Then it's Beckham, man. Oh, my Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you should have seen his reaction. Yo, yo, yo. I was expecting. Yo, yo. I was expecting. You're, you're, no, no, you're no, going to right. trend as a meme, bro. bro. No, I was just, you should, I was you should have seen the disgust on his face. Because in my head, I was thinking. Fair, maybe maybe take out one of the midfielders, go four four two, go Ronaldo and Re- I mean sorry, go go um Rooney and Henri up front, mm. put Ronaldo on the left and maybe I don't know another winger Hazard or something on the wing. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. No, not enough good enough wingers. Yeah. yeah. I mean that front three makes sense. Yeah. And you're playing in Burkamp now instead of uh As a, like, number Turin, ten. Number ten. Yeah. Is is Burkham a better number ten than Frank Lampard? 
世界とかよくあるシステムで。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> So there we have it, guys. That is. I hope everyone's happy with that. I think, I think, we're, I think we're pretty happy with that one. We're a good team still. Yeah. Pretty deep. Yeah. Petr Cech, yeah. Zabaleta, John Terry, Rio, Ferdinand, Ashley Cole, Vieira, Lamps, and Scholes, and the unanimous, the only unanimous part of the pitch. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with you. Rooney, Ronaldo, and Henri. Um, if you agree, whether you disagree, Respond to this video, comment down below if you think How anyone's missing. Get into this thing? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to Pass the Ball there. Love All the information is going to be down below. The best football page, in my opinion, on YouTube at this present moment in time. Consistent everything, and that goes out to the brother AB. Come on now. Without much further ado, thank you very much.